Hi, my name is Gay. Today I thought I'd talk about how to be happily single. So it can be a really hard realization when you've been in relationships your whole life to suddenly be single and not know what to do. The first step is going through the grieving process. You need to do that. If you don't go through that grieving process, you'll never move on beyond your last relationship or the last life event that caused your singleness. But once you've finished grieving, one day you'll just wake up and not think about that person or event anymore. And that's when your new life begins. And the first step in that new life is discovering who you are. Not as somebody's wife or mother or grandmother or neighbor or friend, but as you as a person. What makes your heart sing? What gives you excitement each day? Who are you? Part of that is working out what do you want for you in life? Not what do you want for anybody else, but what do you want for you? Do you want to travel? Do you want to do a cooking show? Do you want to write poetry like I do? There are so many different things out there to choose from and only you know what's going to make you happy. Once you've discovered what it is that you want in your life for you, the next step is getting the confidence to do that. And that's not always easy. When I first became single, I didn't have confidence to do anything. Now, I do everything by myself. I'm happy to go to the movies on my own. I grab my big popcorn, I grab my big drink, I go and sit in the theatre and I enjoy the movie. Because realistically, it's dark in there. You can't talk to anyone anyway. You can't see who's beside you. So what's it matter if you're sitting there on your own? I'll now go, go and sit in a restaurant or a cafe on my own and have a meal. And it does not faze me. I've travelled halfway around Australia on my own. I also do tours to different places on my own. But none of that was anything that happened overnight. It took time and it will take time for you as well. The one thing that may hold you back in gaining confidence to do things on your own is fear. And realistically, what is fear? False events appearing real. We fear what others might think, what others will say. At the end of the day, does it really matter? You're probably never going to see those people again, so why does their opinion matter? But I can guarantee you, the more times you go out of your comfort zone and do things, the easier it does become. It just takes baby steps. Do one new thing each day that makes you happy. And all those baby steps soon add up to a whole new life. So embrace the change and don't be afraid of it because you never know what you are capable of. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment on your experiences as a single person. I'd really love to hear them.